Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifa Tunde, King Kong Consciousness, the Prince of Pan Africanism. And I'm at the grave of the great Emmett Till. I'm at the grave of the ancestor Emmett Till. I'm at the grave of the black Christ for black boys, Emmett Lewis Till. Chicago, the Prince of Pan-Africanism is in the building. Chicago, the Prince of Pan-Africanism is in the building. Chicago, the Prince of Pan-Africanism is in the building. I want to see everybody tomorrow night in Joliet, Illinois. I want to see everybody tomorrow night in Joliet, Illinois. I want to see everybody tomorrow night for the 2024 98th Black History Month anniversary banquet lecture tomorrow in Joliet, brothers and sisters. I had to come visit the grave of Emmett Till. I had to come visit the grave of Emmett Till. I had to come visit the grave of Emmett Till. I had to come visit the grave of Emmett Till, brothers and sisters. The first time I came to Chicago, not for the interview with Brother Dawa, rest in peace, that put me on top of the conscious community. But before I came to Chicago for the interview with Brother Dawa, I came to Chicago to speak at the Roberto Clemente High School. I came to Chicago in 2008 or 2009, maybe early 10, to speak at the Roberto Clemente High School. And I came here to Emmett Till's grave. So that's about 15 years ago, maybe longer. And something just told me as I drove over from Detroit this morning. Something told me as I drove over from Detroit this morning. Something told me as I drove over from Detroit this morning that you need to go pay respects to Emmett Till. You need to go pour out some libation for the black Christ of black boys. The reason I call Emmett Till the black Christ of black boys is because Emmett Till had to give his life so that the world would know how America treats her black boys. We've since then had Trayvon Martin. We since then had Tamir Rice. We've since then had black girls and black boys murdered by white people, murdered by police, and murdered by other black people. So I had to come and pay respect to this black man who was brutally and heinously and inhumanity inhumanely lynched by a group of white devils a group of white beasts a group of white demons who took this boy from his uncle's home and and beat him and castrated him and bust his teeth out and snatched his eyes out and split his skull in half and then threw him in a river hoping that we would never see but guess what the ancestors brought his body up the ancestors brought Emmett Till's body up from that Tallahatchie River and then with his mother Mammy Till Mobley who's buried around here as well because I went to her grave when I came here the first time so we got to remember Mammy Till Mobley because if it wasn't for the mother of Emmett Till we would have never knew the truth if it wasn't for the mother of Emmett Till we would have never knew the truth it was Mammy Till Mobley who went down to Money Mississippi after they buried her son's corpse and told them that you're going to dig my son up. I want to see my boy. And it was Mammy Till Mobley who fought to get Emmett Till's body brought back to Chicago. And it was Mammy Till Mobley that allowed the black news and the white media to take pictures of her son's massacred and desecrated corpse and it was Mammy Till Mobley who gave Emmett Till an open casket funeral. She gave her son an open casket funeral so the whole world would know what those devils did to our son Emmett Till. Black Chicago, Black Chicago, you have been through a lot. Black Chicago, you got a lot more you got to go through. Black America, we've been through a lot, but we got a whole more we got to go through. They took out Fred Hampton. They took out Fred Hampton. They took out Emmett Till. And now they're trying to take out every brother and sister in Chicago and New York through the migrant crisis. They're using brown to replace black. I hope to God and I hope to the ancestors that all my brothers and sisters in Chicago and New York will converge in Chicago. 
this black August doing Joe Biden's Democratic National Convention and shut that shit down. I'm telling you, New York Africans, Chicago Africans, you are our largest communities. You are our biggest communities. You are our most conscious communities. I hope to God that Chicago and New York don't take this sitting down. I hope to God that Chicago and New York unite in Chicago this Black August during the Democratic National Convention in the name of Fred Hampton and in the name of Emmett Till and in the name of Malcolm X. And I pray that we shut down that Democratic National Convention. If y'all come and stand, I'm coming to stand. If y'all come and stand, Black America coming to stand. It's organize or die. It's do or die, brothers and sisters. We got to stop letting the white man beat us on down. We got to stop taking the second class citizenship. We got to stop making people make us feel that we don't have a right to be here that we don't have a right to exist that we don't have a right to live brothers and sisters it's time to wake up brothers and sisters it's time to wake up it's time to wake up family it's your big brother king kong consciousness at the grave of emmett till chicago i'm in the building joliet illinois i'ma see you tomorrow for the black history month dinner banquet tomorrow King Kong Consciousness comes to Joliet for the first time. Chicago, I'm in the building. When are we going to start organizing for Black August? New York City, when are we going to start organizing for Black August? Are you telling me that Chicago and New York, our two largest and blackest communities, Chicago and New York, that's being targeted for gentrification? Are you telling me y'all going to let the Democratic Party come to Chicago and walk on our self-respect? and walk in our human dignity and walk in our political integrity and we're going to let them come here and have their party and nominate Joe Biden and we're not going to do nothing about it? Come on, y'all. Chicago, New York, you got to get organized. Don't listen to the black bourgeoisie. This is a grass moose movement. It's do or die. It's now or never. It's presidential election season. If we're going to make some noise, we got to make it now. I can't lead it, but I can be a part of it. I can't lead it because I don't live here. It's going to take you to do this. Y'all got to take the lead on this. And the rest of black America will come and back you up. The rest of black America will come and stand in solidarity with you. The rest of black america will come and support you how much longer y'all how much longer y'all how much longer we gonna keep taking this shit from white folks how much longer we gonna keep letting these caucasians spit on us politically and economically how much longer we gonna let them bring in all these immigrants and ukrainians and afghanis and everything else and ignore the people who built this hypocritical country brick by brick in the spirit of Emmett Till, we got to stand. In the spirit of Emmett Till, we got to stand. In the spirit of Emmett Till, we got to stand. Brothers and sisters, I'll see you tomorrow in Joliet, Illinois. If anybody needs the Eventbrite link, if anybody needs the Eventbrite link to purchase your ticket, you can text Dr. Umar for the Eventbrite link to purchase your ticket. 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. This your big brother King Kong. Peace and Pan-Africanism.